School is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. Helma, today I want to talk a little bit about corn drying. Um, it's been a, a weird year for a lot of producers and for this province. We had a terrible spring, followed by a resurgent crop that really did well in the summer and has some great potential, but now we've got some weather problems and we can't get this crop off. It's been very difficult. Corn drying is going to be a challenge for a lot of growers this year. Tell me about what growers should be thinking about right now as they get into that crop. I guess one of the more important things uh, this year being kind of a unique year from a, a growing perspective is to uh, sort of head out in the field, uh, check your fields, uh, take samples, see what the moisture content is uh, for those various varieties and then uh, planning your uh, your drying and, and harvest, harvest and drying uh, accordingly. Obviously you know you're going to take off the fields that are uh, driest or the ones that would be the most problem if the, uh, the inclement weather and the, the wet weather persisted. So get on those fields that are sort of the first ones to, to soften up uh, after rain. And then, uh, you know, once we do get in and start harvesting, uh, you know, do a, do a good job of setting your combine so that the sample of grain that's in the, uh, in the harvest tank on the machine is as clean as it can be. And that will pay you dividends down the road from an airflow and from a drying efficiency uh, standpoint. Let's talk a little bit about uh, drying temperature and, and test weight. How, how should we be tackling those two things this year? In general, when we dry corn, we see an increase in test weight. Uh, depending on how the corn matured or if it's even uh, fully uh, physiologically mature, uh, drying temperature will impact test weight. In general, as we dry grain, we should uh, see an increase in test weight. Uh, most farmers, uh, if they've had a drying system for a year or two or ten or more years, uh, they have sort of a favorite drying temperature and that's where the dryers run year after year after year. Some of the new information uh, coming out of the U.S. says that uh, every year you should take a sample, uh, your first run through of corn, uh, watch it very closely. Uh, after that, dryers reach equilibrium, measure your test weight going into the dryer, measure your test weight coming up. Uh, and if it's still increasing, then, then life is good. You could uh, raise your dry, or you should maybe dry, drop your drying temperature. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, basically you want to use a minimum drying temperature uh, to a point where the test weight doesn't change. Once that test weight sort of stays uh, level and it doesn't increase, you can increase your drying, uh, your plantum temperature, maybe 10 degrees Fahrenheit. So every year, the drying temperature could be different given uh, <clears throat> how that corn has, uh, has uh, matured through the growing season given that it was cooler than normal, uh, possibly wetter than normal. Uh, so it really, had, tweaking the drying temperature really gives it the maximum uh, efficiency from a, a maintenance of a test weight standpoint. Hey, tell, about, tell us a little bit about you know, calibrating moisture testers and you know, getting the moisture right. How important is that? Yeah. The, the, what farmers use is some uh, some type of moisture tester to determine what uh, the moisture content is of the grain. They're shooting for a certain target moisture content. If your tester is off one point or two points, uh, you could be actually over drying the crop, which takes energy. Uh, it doesn't help you from a quality standpoint, so it pays uh, to have that machine calibrated. Either take it to uh, to a facility that does moisture uh, tester calibration, or uh, have the uh, you know tested against uh, the uh, the elevators tester. Okay, take a sample, split it. You test half, they test half. You should be uh, bang on the same uh, for that. If it's off a point or any more, then uh, that machine should be addressed and, and should be calibrated. Wow.